archaeologists say that the first mummies on our planet did not appear in Egypt. It was the Egyptians who adopted the experience of mummification from other states. This conclusion was reached after studying the mummies, which are more than 8,000 years old. About this and other finds of archaeologists, see in this video. Hi friend, you're on the Kurt Top channel. Ancient image of a honey collector Archaeologists have unearthed a rare rock art depicting honey gathering near the Pyrenees in northeastern Spain. The drawing is made in the so-called East Iberian of Levantine style, which is characterized by careful study of small details. The image is well preserved. An ancient artist depicted a man climb a ladder to fetch honey from a beehive. Some features of the drawing suggest that the artist created it about 7,500 years ago. Three different compositions are made on the wall more than 12 meters wide. Along with the honey gathering scene, the artist decorated the cave with an image of a pair of archers on a hunt and a running deer, whose hat is turned back. Scenes of honey gathering have been found before in the area of the Levant, famous for its rock carvings. The most famous of them was called the Men of Bikurb in Cuevas de la Arana near Valencia. This composition is over 8,000 years old and is the oldest surviving image in the area. While other people of Europe during this period were engaged in agriculture, hunter-gatherers from eastern Spain had to rely on beekeeping. They were ready to pay the highest price for this – human life. Dragon Man Fossils Scientists in China have reported that they have discovered a new species of human called Homo longi, or dragon man. The skull of this man was discovered back in 1933, but during the period of the Japanese occupation of China, he was hidden in a well, where he lay for 85 years until he fell into the hands of scientists. He was investigated and came to the conclusion that he belongs to a new kind of people. The skull is quite large. Research suggests that Dragon Man may be a close relative of Homo sapiens. It is not clear exactly when the Dragon Man appeared and when he died out, but scientists have found that the skull itself dates from about 309-138 thousand years. True, scientists are not completely sure that the skull of the Dragon Man belongs to a new species. According to one version, the skull of a Denisovan, a hominide, fell into the hands of scientists, which is very poorly studied due to the small number of fossils found. The oldest name of God in the garbage heap Archaeologists working in the West Bank say they have unearthed a tiny curse tablet, a tablet just over the size of a postage stamp. It is inscribed with an inscription in an early form of Hebrew, which calls on God to curse a person who has broken his word. Archaeologists from his group now claim the tablet is at least 3,200 years old. This makes the inscription the earliest known Hebrew text and the first to contain the Hebrew name of God. However, a number of archaeologists not involved in the project say they cannot evaluate the find until details about it appear in a scientific journal. And at least one expert warns that the tablet may not be as ancient as its discoverers claim. The tablet was found in archaeological dumps on Mount Aval, north of the city of Nablus, in December 2019. The formation of these dumps is a different story. In the 1980s, Israeli archaeologist Adam Zirtel unearthed a complex of structures on Mount Avel, which he identified as a Jewish cult object by a number of signs. Forty proto-alphabetic characters inscribed in an early form of Hebrew or Canaanite on the outer and inner surfaces of the tablet either warn of what will happen if someone does not fulfill their covenant obligations or are already punishing. That is, this is a cheat sheet for the direct fulfillment of the curse, which according to the Bible was pronounced just from the Mount Ebal. Recall that blessings were pronounced from the neighboring Mount Gerizim. The inscription uses a three-letter form of the Hebrew name of God, roughly corresponding to the English letters YHW. In other words, we are talking about the name Yahweh. Images of Goddesses in Labor in the Mountains of the Krasnoyarsk Territory 
Siberian archaeologists have discovered on the rocks in the Krasnoyarsk territory images of two women in labor. Rock art is attributed to the culture of the Okanev pastoralists of the Bronze Age. This is the end of the 3rd, the middle of the 2nd millennium BC. Stone drawings of women in the pose of women in labor on the rocks of Mount Tepsi have already been found three times. The last two were found by the staff of the Department of Archaeology of the Kemerova State University. The petroglyphs depict figures of women with bent legs and feet apart. On one image, in addition to the woman in labor, there are figures of animals, and on the other, an archaeologist suggests a male character with an erect phallus. Scientists have come to the conclusion that ancient drawings could depict mother goddesses who were honored as part of a fertility cult. After conducting the ceremony, it was possible to enlist the patronage of the goddesses. Perhaps the people of Central Asia in the Bronze Age had a common mythological system. Historians admit that there were several fertility goddesses who performed different functions, as well as the case in Indian, Greek, Middle Asian and other mythologies. Palio Holes in the 2000s, Brazilian geologists began to find strange caves. Most of them were long arch tunnels with perfectly level floors that merged into complex underground networks of chambers and passages. All signs indicated that these caves were not created by any natural geological process. But what made the whole network of such huge tunnels and caves in which a person can walk in full growth? The clue was suggested by the deep grooves found on the ceilings and walls, which after closer examination turned out to be ancient claw marks. But what makes it all really strange is the scale of the so-called pallia holes. They are huge even for the extinct giant sloth or armadillos, which are considered the most likely creators of these structures. The largest hole was discovered in the state of Rondonia. The total length of its passages was 610 meters, while the tunnels were 1.8 meters high and 1.5 meters wide. To create just this hole, it took 4,000 meters of cubic rock to be dug. There was no explanation why the animals needed such elaborate shelters or why there are no such barrios in North America, although giant sloths and armadillos also lived there thousands of years ago. Treasure chest on the beach Picking up trash from the beach should be reward enough in itself. But one picker walked away with a bonus after finding a real wooden treasure chest. The chest found by Jenny Fitzgerald contained about 100 old coins, gems, a rusty pocket watch and a ring. She found the treasure between Card Gap and Happysburg while on March 20 with the beach cleanup team in North Norfolk. The 10-inch box was at the foot of a low cliff hidden behind a sandbank. Mrs. Fitzgerald believes the chest came from a recent fall of a cliff. It has been covered in sand, but is in fairly good condition considering how old it is. Her husband, James, helped her bring the three-pound chest home to Norwich, where children Harrison, nine, and Darcy, six, helped clean up the sand using old toothbrushes. They also found an ornate perfume bottle, an iron key, and a silver matchstick engraved with Ernest's name. The chest has been turned over to Norfolk Country Council and may be turned over to the coroner to determine who it belonged to. The fine's liaison officer thinks the find is more of historical value, but the Fitzgerald kids think they're going to be rich. Medieval Amulet with Magical Inscription a valuable artifact was found in Wiltshire in the UK using a metal detector. The name of the person who found the medieval gold brooch with inscriptions in Latin and Hebrew has not been disclosed. According to experts, this brooch, which is about 800 years old, probably had the function of a talisman, and it intertwined both religious and magical ideas of medieval society. The inscription in Latin translates as Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Amen. And the inscription in Hebrew is the abbreviation Egla, which means you are strong forever, Lord. According to Northwestern University professor of religious studies Richard Kikafer, the Hebrew phrase you are strong forever, Lord was often used in medieval magical artifacts, while prayer was a standard chant of the Virgin Mary common among 
call all Christians. The expert emphasized that such a mixture of religious and magical meanings gave the amulet a special power in the eyes of the person who wore it. The Hebrew abbreviation Egla was used very often in the Middle Ages from high ritual magic to protective amulets. It is one of many divine names or words of power common in medieval traditions. Given the small size of the brooch and the mention of the Virgin Mary, this item could have belonged to a woman. Perhaps the brooch was worn as a means of protection during pregnancy or childbirth. Now, according to British law, the find passes through the Treasure Act. It will determine the fate of the artifact. Perhaps it will be transferred to one of the local museums, and the person who found it will receive a cash reward. St. Francis Bread in Italy, the monks of the Falani Monastery faced a harsh and famine-stricken winter. According to a 700-year-old legend, one night an angel brought bread and left it on the threshold of the monastery. The monks believed that the food was sent by St. Francis of Assisi, who was in France at the time. The monks even considered the bag in which the bread was a shrine and kept it for seven centuries. Scientists decided to check the old legend and tested the preserved piece of the bag. It turned out that the age of the fabric dates back to about 1220-1295. That coincides perfectly with the year when the miracle happened, 1224. The scientists then examined the inner surface of the textile and found ergosterol. This biomarker is commonly found in molds associated with baking, brewing and agriculture. Most likely, the medieval material came into contact with bread. These data, together with the age of the relic, confirm the myth. Babies were buried in helmets made of human skulls. Another archaeological horror. During excavations in Ecuador, archaeologists discovered the skeletons of two babies buried in helmets from the skulls of other children. Dating back to about 100 BC, the ritual complex of Salengo on the coast of Ecuador was the burial place of the Guangala culture. Among the 11 skeletons were two babies, on whose skulls other children's skulls were put on, so that the face of the buried looked through a hole in the skull. One infant was 18 months old at the time of death and had the skull of a 4-12 to 12 year old child slammed onto it. On the head of the second baby, 6-9 months old, the skull of a child 2-12 to 12 years old. The age of the helmets is not accurately determined since the teeth, the most reliable marker, are missing. The find is very unusual. Archaeologists are faced with this for the first time. The ritual seems strange even in the context of ancient Indian cultures where head manipulation was common. Perhaps the burial was an attempt to somehow protect these prematurely departed children's souls. Scientists hope that genetic and isotopic analysis will reveal how the children were related to each other, all four. So far, the researchers have found signs of severe anemia on the bones of both babies, as well as on the helmet skulls. An interesting detail, volcanic ash was found in the layers preceding the burial. Isn't the consequences of this eruption associated with illness and death of children? Chandar Plate Unique artifacts appear quite often, but they are not always known to a wide range of population. One of the latest sensations that surprised all scientists was a huge stone slab found in Bashkiria called Chandar, on the surface of which a map of the area was embossed. There is no image of modern roads on it, but instead of them, incomprehensible sites are carved, later recognized as airfields. The age of the monolith, weighing one ton, was so striking that the find was announced as a gift from aliens who wanted to inhabit our planet. In any case, scientists have not received a clear explanation of how the relief outlines of the map of the region appeared on the block, whose age is determined at 50 million years. The oldest mummies are not from Egypt. Mummification of the bodies of the dead could appear in Europe several thousand years earlier than in ancient Egypt. Scientists from Uppsala University came to this conclusion after studying the remains of 13 people who died 8,000 years ago. According to a report published on the university's website, the mass grave was found in the 1960s in the Sado Valley in Portugal. In the new work, experts analyzed these remains again, finding that at least one person was artificially mummified after death. As for the rest, some of the bodies were buried in a position uncharacteristic of European practices, with bent legs pressed to the chest. Before burial, the bodies were dried, which according to scientists, indicates a natural process of mummification. 
In order for the body to maintain its integrity, it was wrapped with rope or bandages. It is known that this practice was used in ancient Egypt. However, the very first Egyptian mummies are about 4,000 years old, while the Portuguese ones are 8,000 years old. Thus, the discovered mummies may be the oldest in the world. Sacred Pool of Ancient Astronomers Scientists announced the discovery on the former island city of Moshe, western Sicily, of the sacred pool of the ancient Phoenicians, which served them for religious purposes and tracking the movement of stars. Previously, this basin, known as Coffin, was considered a military harbor. Researchers discovered Coffin in the early 20s of the 20th century, and the pool itself dates back to between 550 and 397 BC. Excavations in this place resumed in 2002-2010. At that time, a large building was discovered near the age of Coffin, a temple in honor of the Phoenician deity Baal. Scientists studied these findings for the next 10 years. According to the latest data of researchers, Coffin was not connected to the sea and was filled from natural sources and therefore could not serve as an entrance to a hypothetical navigable basin. In addition, archaeologists found funerary stones, altars, religious offerings and a pedestal in the center of the pool at the excavation site. The feet of a tall statue have been preserved on it. According to scientists, it once depicted Baal himself. The location of the pool also suggests that it was oriented by the stars. Ancient astronomers could use it to track the movement of heavenly bodies. Read this video with a thumbs up or down and share it with your friends. By tradition, every kind comment I will try to answer. Thanks for your views. Bye, everyone.